Hello people and welcome to a video looking at all the new assets that have just arrived with the trains and bridges and piers content creator packs that have just been announced at ParadoxCon. Uh, so we're going to have a little look at them and I kind of see what we're working with here. So there's there's a ton of assets that come with the train stations one at least so let's just dive in and have a look at them. I'm going to spend a couple of minutes with each one and just see what we think. So first of all we have a metro plaza station and this thing has got metro lines running in kind of four directions here. But super cute looking asset. We don't often get kind of layers of height going down within the assets in cities. We don't really get this depth without using something from the workshop. So some really nice opportunities with this. Kind of surround this in a high rise. Lots of uh, lots of spice designs with this one, I think. Definitely look forward to using this in Navaria. And next up, we have the crossover train station hub. So the crossover train station hub is a multi-platform train station hub that has and elevated. Okay, that doesn't really read right. <laughs> okay, but well that's fine. Has and elevated and a sunken level to allow separate train networks to cross connect. So again, we're going to be getting some train action in here. Again, really nice layers of height. There's kind of a repeating theme with all these new assets is that they're... A lot of them have got different layers of height, <laughs> which I think is something we all appreciate on this channel at least anyway. So yeah, again, super cute looking asset. Lots of little stair action in here. But really good some people kind of come and go from these things and again kind of actual car parks built into the asset here this will make such a huge difference in detail in transport hubs having this little intricate road network here like even these new little like stone assets that are in here all contributes to the detailing but again really nice asset super cute Next up, we are talking about the old market station and severe European vibes of this one. Um, really, really cute. Again, it's got kind of the car park down through the middle. And then it's got four elevated rail lines, of course, which can be expanded in a direction. It does kind of look like there's a road connection through the back of here as well. Is this something we can connect to? No, we can't. That's a little bit of a shame. It looks like we can get paths in there, though. You can actually connect a path onto the back of it. Whether or not that will register as a connection, though, it might. But you can't connect a road to it though. But there is some cute little market decals under here, you know, using the uh, the park life assets, kind of like a little under the archway market store. Really cute asset, would work great in the European area. And uh, a nice bit of kind of glass roof action going on as well. Yeah, like it. Good one. And we are moving in the total opposite direction here with the glass box transport hub. So this station is a multi platform metro and train hub. I was inside a big glass box. <laughs> yes, it is. It's exactly what it is. And then, again, nice looking asset. Very, very modern. Kind of very stark contrast here, which is good. Little raised metro elevation spice going on here. Okay. So you can tether multiple connections out the end of this thing if you want to. Like it is lined up to accept kind of three different platforms here. And likewise again with the trains underneath, they've got these cute little glass I guess little shelters on the on the platforms. Really ties in with the main asset as well. Again, really this would probably pair really nicely with the um let's have a look at it here while we are together. So the Grand Library and the Museum of Modern Art unique buildings. Pair really nicely together. You get a really cute transport hub going on folks in these three assets. Maybe a modular build. <laughs> We do need to update the modular build uh, design for a transport hub, but either way, really nice asset, really cute. Let's move on to the next one, which is going to be the Sunken Island Platform Metro Station. It open to the surface, this below ground station has two platforms, one upline and one downline. Okay, very nice again. Just a again, nice layer of depth, which is something this pack is really bringing. Um, really small. Not taking up much room here, but again, it's better than just that grey square on the floor, right, that we use for the underground metro stations at the minute. These are a lot better. Really nice. Really like them. Again, looks like we've got another version here. It's just going to be slightly bigger. Yeah, so this is just the same thing, but it has, like, dual sides to it. So, again, some nice variety in the underground metro stops. Really happy with that. And, again, we'll just kind of have a look at their underground connections. Yeah, it all kind of comes out at one point, and you can... I feed out different lines here if you wanted to, but it looks a bit right. But again, lots of glass, lots of trees, lots of green. It's a very nice grey stone as well. Very minimalistic, isn't it? Yeah, definitely an incoming transport build with these, I think. 
Again, what is this little naughty one? Let's have a look at this. This is the sunken bypass metro station. So open to the surface, this below ground station has two platforms and two inside tracks for express trains to bypass the stop. Okay, that's really cute. Very nice indeed. Just superbly designed, like, these content creator packs are just incredible. So, so well done. Now we are arriving to some above ground metro stations, but these guys can cross the road and just fabulous. <laughs> this opens up to so many wonderful spice opportunities. Now we can do this and yeah, lots of nice hiding. These are going to make such a great addition to Navarria's downtown. Perfectly timed pack everyone. <laughs> So first of all, we have the Elevated Island Platform Metro Station, which is a compact, space-saving elevated metro station with two platforms, one upline and one downline. Again, very kind of minimalistic, modern, grey features. I get a cute look on the inside here. A bench. A little staircase action. It's nice to see some more stairs in City Skylines as well. Hopefully we do get stairs as a droppable item one day instead of pathways, but maybe we'll wait for the stairs and doors content creator pack or something. Okay, so we have also the elevated dual island platform metro station, which is the same as this one, but it's dual, of course. So again, lots of nice little glass shade and little shelters and bushes and benches. Very, very nice. I like the tiles here as well. Yeah, super cute designed asset, and the best thing is it passes passes over the roads and doesn't show any modern art through the top either while it's clipping the, the street light. Yeah, very cute, very nice, like this one. Then again, coming on to the next over the road one is an elevated bypass metro station. So this is a suburban elevated metro station, compact, and allows metro trains to zoom overhead throughout your city. So it's kind of listing this one as more suburban, which I guess it kind of is. There's more glass as opposed to concrete on this one. Like there is with the others. But again, I think you could kind of use this anywhere, right? Really cute looking asset. Okay. Yeah, like that one. Very nice indeed. And then look at this little demon. Yes, please. I'm so glad to be seeing car parks built in on the front of assets like this. The important ones, like train stations. This is going to save so much Green City zoning, having stuff like this in, with the 2x2 two two car parks. Okay, so the ground bypass train station. This ground bypass train station has two platforms and two inside tracks for express trains to bypass the stop. Parking lot is a great place for citizens to park and ride. Could not agree more. <laughs> Could not agree more. But again, lots of this kind of grey and glass decals appearing everywhere here. With the, uh, the hedges in here as well from the Park Life expansion. And really nice kind of overhead lines here. And the front of the asset is great. So many town centre possibilities with this asset now. And then the various town centre will be coming up soon as well. So very happy to be having these just in time. Yeah, lots of U action. A little bit of green tree in here as well. Yeah, real like that train station. Super, super nice. And then again, <laughs> totally crazy. Look at these designs. So many stairs and a little bit of wheelchair access going on here as well. I think we can all appreciate a bit of wheelchair access spice. Again, kind of the split platform. Car park out the front again. Use. Again, this would pair really nicely with the uh, with the Grand Library and stuff. There's been like a, a little batch of very modern, unique assets just been dropped here that we can really create some interesting looking builds with. Yeah. Okay. Nice little bridge action here too. Yeah, overall really, really nice looking asset. Yeah, ground island platform train station that one is. We also have the ground dual island platform station, which is... Train station that has four platforms, two upline and two downline, and the parking lot is, yeah, 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 we get it. Okay. So again, really nice looking train station. Super modern, fits in with all the other ones that we've got down here, like this one that we just looked at. Yeah. Just 
biggest thing for me here is the car parks, <laughs> I think. Car parks are really, really getting to me. Some new fence in here as well. I see a different type of fence in there. Yeah. Cute asset. Really like it. Moving on to next door, where we get very, very fancy indeed. So we're going to have the elevated island platform train station here. So this elevated train station has two platforms, one up and one down line. The parking lot is a great place to sit in this parking ride, yada yada, okay? But again, nice looking asset. Very different style and vibe. But just so much appreciation for this. <laughs> Having the car parks on the outside of important assets is going to make <laughs> my life a lot easier. It really is. And some different car park decals as well, other than the Green Cities ones, because you know, just lots of opportunities here. Lots of opportunities. Doesn't like we can connect a road uh, on this side, which I don't think we'll be able to. No, we can't connect out of these sides, which is fine. But whatever. Again, nice looking asset. Super cute. There's a little balcony action up here as well. And it kind of looks like we're getting to a similar theme as well, but this one's got some like kind of turntable vibes about it. You can even back these onto each other. <laughs> a little bit of repeated spice to kind of complete this circle. Yeah, again, it's the elevated version of the first one. But just super, super nice. like the colour scheme on the roofs of these ones as well. And again, there's kind of lots of car park and decal action out the front. Yeah, kind of first impressions, very much on board with the trains content creator pack here. And yeah, the train station ones, just, yeah, great assets, great assets. Then what we're looking at here, this is going to be the elevated bypass train station. And again, it's kind of, you know, an elevated train station. It's going to be nice as well having these elevated train stations. Um, because kind of trains previously always have to run through these. And you get so bored of seeing this train station everywhere. Unless you're coming out of like a transport hub building or like a train and metro hub or something like that. But it's so nice to have these. <laughs> big, big fun. Okay. Again, yeah, more kind of car park decals out the front. Lots of nice kind of sharp modern edges. It's going to look great in a downtown, isn't it? Very nice indeed. Kind of compare the sizes here to the old train station. Let's see how big they are. So let's have a look at the new bridges that have come with this one. Um, so we have the European Bridge, European Rail Bridge 2, and then the High Speed Rail Viaduct. So the interesting thing here is that this is this one. Um, if we put this down on the ground, it is just a train line. But the elevated version apparently will have two lane concrete high speed train bridge network with a 220 kilometer per hour speed limit. So it's kind of referencing the fact that the high speed rail viaduct will maybe increase the speed of trains if we go for this option. But again, really nice looking asset. It's um got some different colors on it it's a nice kind of gray in contrast with the brown few white tracks as well very modern and again these bridges here kind of the the one-way train bridges look really nice again it's just nice to have some different different bridge assets that come with these okay not bad at all not bad at all okay so here we have all of our roads in their bridge format and on their road format. So this is the American Trust Bridge. Again, just nice to have new bridge assets, isn't it? A little green vibe going on with this one. New pillars too, which is always appreciated. Okay. Nice little black handrail on this one too. But again, just a nice asset. And then some kind of lighter uh, sidewalks or pavements um, on the ground version, which again, just opens it up to a whole new kind of palette and appeal. Kind of go for a nice rich shopping district down here with like the, the marble uh, pavement. Lots of possibilities with that one, I think. I will then move on over to the American Four Lane Trust Bridge, which again has this really nice, almost like red velvet texture underneath. And again, with the, the trusses and all that kind of the ironwork on this bridge, 
this like stone effect as well on its pillars, which again, more pillar assets. Yeah, big fan of this one. Big fan. This reminds me very much of kind of Brooklyn for some reason, and I don't know why, because I've never been to Brooklyn. But either way, it kind of has these cute little yeah, marble pavements on them again. So yeah, nice new road asset. Then similar again with the next one up, which is the American Six Lane Stone Bridge. Kind of got these cute little cork pavements on them. Quite like that texture. And then again, the bridge is these wonderful little arches that would look really great kind of going over water. So yeah, again, it's just, there's not much more to say other than it's nice to have some new road assets, I guess. And they've done a, a really nice job on them. These are, these are really cute. Yeah, fairly happy with that. Very nice indeed. With the European two-lane stone bridge, again, this would just make such a huge difference to those European areas. So there's little archways and all the little decorations and flourishes on the bridge itself. Really nice. We're then moving on over to the European four lane stone bridge. So just the next step up from the previous one. Again, some nice archways. I see the little kind of grooves with all the, the girders are and whatnot. Yeah. Really nice kind of brick detailing up here on the side of the on the side of the bridge. Yeah. Again, just nice to have more roads. <laughs> There's not much more to say with the roads. Uh, what are we looking at here? The European six lane stone bridge. Kind of see the convention here, right? Again, really love this. This um these stone pavements. Game changer. We hit that this <laughs> just uh, yeah, just the the spice explosion happening in my mind right now about what we can do with all these really changes the theme of a build. See how we can get these in industrial areas as well. Oh yes, <laughs> just so much going on. Yeah, okay. And then again, the bridge version. Kind of see how things are developing here with this one. Nice archways, little kind of crest or coat of arms in there. And then the last one we have here is the three lane highway viaduct which when placed on the road is just a regular three lane highway but its elevated version has this quite smart smooth concrete stone-esque finish and then again nice new pillar assets as well yeah you can't really complain about them to be fair and um, yeah well, let's have a little browse at how everyone looks at night time if there's any kind of standout features here amongst them they kind of mostly look the same obviously just a little more illuminated. Kind of see how the car parts are getting on here as well. Yeah, that one's okay. Huge lover of this asset again. Really can't wait to get stuck in with this one. This will be really nice. And then likewise again with this one too. Okay. Some of the elevated over road ones here as well. I think they're all fairly nice, aren't they? Everyone's having a nice time. And same with this one again. There's a little string of lights through the middle. Very fancy. Very spicy, isn't it? <laughs> it's, a, it's a wonderful bit of nighttime spice, I think. Yeah, but overall, kind of first impressions, guys. Um, I'm a huge fan of the new assets. Uh, it is a content creator pack, so they're slightly cheaper as well. Uh, but they'll be super cheap on instant gaming. So if you want to come pick it up, I'll leave the links in the description below as always. But yeah, huge, huge possibilities in transport hubs coming to life. Yeah, it's a shame we kind of get the sunken dirt texture with this one. And it's not kind of lifted up to the ground level. And then this one is the kind of elevated sunken one. But I kind of get what they were doing, right? And then again, the little kind of metro plaza here. Yeah, so yeah, absolutely expect to see these. Uh, in modular builds and Novaria going forward. Okay, so we'll now have a look at our piers and I guess bridges still, uh, kind of side of this pack. Uh, so we have two new footbridges, uh, the American Pedestrian Bridge, which is this one on the left, and then we have the European Pedestrian Bridge, which is the one on the right. And again, it's nice to have some new walking paths. Um, I think the pillars might be a little bit too big on these, that's just my opinion, but uh, this American one, uh, this European one looks super wide, but 
I guess they've taken inspiration from somewhere, right? This probably exists somewhere in the world, but yeah, it's just super, super wide. And um, both of these on the floor um, are just regular vanilla walking paths. So there's no kind of on floor version. It's just the elevated one that gets this decal. And then we have finally um, a whole load of, I guess, interactable keys or peers now. Um, yeah, there's a few different ones here. And from the looks of it, it looks like they can walk on them. So we have like a simple seawall. Yeah, so seawall type key with pedestrian path. Let's have a little look at this. Okay. Oh, why didn't we have these in Palo when we were doing the downtown? Yeah, okay. So again, this really changes up waterfronts and how we can build them. I'm guessing we can just draw in a regular path connection here. Yeah, okay. Then we just hook in. Oh, can you imagine kind of the, the waterfront park possibilities with this? <laughs> so many options. Okay, that's a good one. So again, looks like simple seawall but fenceless. Yeah, okay, so it's the same, just doesn't have the fence on it. Which I guess it's fine. Can we move the sun here? We can kind of see. There we go, that's a little better, right? But yeah. Really nice stone. Super Italian vibes with this. It just reminds me of Italy. Some European assets up behind that as well. This should be the seawall where we built the cathedral plaza. <laughs> like, this is what it needs. Yeah, okay. Liking this so far. Let's have a look what else we've got. We also had a tiered seawall. So a seawall type key with pedestrian paths on both the top and lower tier. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, so pedestrian paths on the top and lower tier. How does the bottom tier work? Does that just have a little connecting node on it. Unsure how that would really work, but whatever. I guess we'll kind of see, right? And the next one we have is the tiered seawall top. So seawall type key with pedestrian paths on the top tier. Okay, so basically the same as this one, but no pedestrian path on the bottom. We have a tiered seawall with stairs. Okay, I'm guessing that's how they get up and down then. Between the two tiers, you have to use this one occasionally so they can get back to the top level. Okay, and how are our sea assets interfering with these? Okay, that's <laughs> that's not great. Yeah, yeah, it would have been nice if it went down to the second level. So we have the version with and without the stairs. Again, I'm guessing that's how they get up and down. It is a shame that we can't. Kind of place our sea assets a little more sensibly, but whatever, that's fine. And this one, yeah, just the same. Seawall type key with pedestrian paths on top and lower tier with decorative stairs. And there's not too much change in between these, I don't think. Yeah, it's all kind of pretty much the same. Then we've got a tier seawall wide. Okay, so we can pop it out here. How does the fishing industry interact with these, I wonder? Should we have a little check? Okay, yeah, they still just plop on top of them like that. It's not bad, it's an action. That look that little lip is nice on the on the harbour, but it would have been cool if they snapped down to the lower level. I could have done some really cool fishing harbour stuff with that, but I guess they have a road on them, so it's not totally practical. Okay. Then a seawall type key with wide load here and functional pedestrian path on top. Okay, so I'm not kind of too dissimilar to this one here with the, the harbour on it. It's just ones with and without pedestrian paths on the bottom. We have a simple city key. Let's see what we're kind of looking like here. Yeah, okay. Nice little simple city key. This will be so much nicer to use within the inner cities rather than the grey key. Yeah. Big fan of that. Continuing now, so this is the simple city key again, but it's fenceless. So, again, yeah, it just loses its fence decal. Basically the same. Then we've got the city keys, but tiered. Yeah, okay, they all kind of follow the same premise here, right? And again, kind of come out, so this one just doesn't have the walking path along the bottom. 
I wonder if you mix and match the two of these. So this one is ones with, I guess they'll just stop walking as they hit the one without. So you have to make sure you keep using the same one. We have a city key wide. Okay, this is nice. Again, you can get some really nice seafront action on the go with these assets now. And then again, I'm guessing kind of our little tourism assets aren't going to interact. That much diff- oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, they don't interact well with them at all. Okay, I guess that's the same for all of them. Uh, let's find another one here. Um, yeah, with the boats. Yeah, <laughs> it just stacks up on top. Okay, yeah, so they don't work perfectly with the tourism assets, but, you know, it's a content creator pack, that's fine. It's expected. But, yeah, it would have been nice if they did snap forward a little bit. And then the last one we have is a city key with stairs. Which, again, is kind of a slight variation on this one with the same stone texture. But we've just got some little stairs here instead of a, kind of a gradual staircase. Okay. Very nice indeed. Big fan of the keys, again, really changes up how we can detail and uh, just kind of everything else that we can do with this, so yeah, keys get a thumbs up from me. But yeah, I hope kind of having a little look at them all today, it might have helped you make your decision uh, whether or not you want to pick them up. But I'm not really regretting it that I did, I'm really happy with these new assets, there's lots of possibilities for me, and uh, lots of modular builds for you. <laughs> so uh, yeah. We'll kind of see what we can do with them, uh, but otherwise I will shut up and leave it there. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, a like below is always appreciated. Even much if you haven't enjoyed it, please feel free to leave a dislike as well. Yeah, otherwise I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, let me know if you are going to pick it up in the comments. I'll be interested to see what everyone else thinks of these. Yeah. As always, enjoy the rest of your day.